Hi everybody, we're here again looking at a website and what we're going to look at is reloading-supplies.com and it's a reloading site, they've got primers, they've got powder, and they've got different things that you might need for reloading ammunition. And they've got pictures here, but the, the pictures seem a little bit fake because this one it looks like somebody's house and then the other ones look like something pre-pandemic because everything is in stock and everything is there. Right now there's a lot of supply chain shortages, so a lot of things just aren't in stock. But let's take a look at this and see what we see and if we can see if we can determine if it's fake or not. It has some topics here. Kind of strange that they have handguns, rifles, and then ammunition. Usually people do one or the other. They don't do both. And they've got a little different brands. These don't line up quite right. And then they've got their best sellers. And if you notice, everything here says add to cart. Everything. So what they're saying is absolutely everything is in stock. This one says select options because there's different sizes, but everything else is in add to cart. And then in the footer here, it's got its email, a phone number, an address in Kansas, and then an FFL number, which is a federal firearms license number. And that might make you feel that you're, you're safer because they've been you know federally certified and that's current, but there's, Anytime you're going to do business with a company or an individual that's an FFL, you should double check that they have it and it's current and it's assigned to them. This number is 548-05263 and then you, you just need the first, the second, and the, and the last field. So 548-05263. So go to Google and then do ATF uh, FFL easy and that should get us to it. And you do 548.05263 and see who that's assigned to. And that's assigned to Smart Guns, which is not who we're looking at. So let's double check that. 548.05263. 548.05263. And the address is 609 Baldwin Street. And the address here is 609 Baldwin Street. So they're using this FFL number illegitimately. And it's actually assigned to smart guns. So who we're dealing with is not smart guns. Let's find out who smart guns are. And we'll copy that, go to Google. Got another tab waiting for me. And just hit smart guns, boom. And it's, it's this company that sells this ring that the ring has an uh, electronic chip in it and then it has to match the gun and then the gun will work. And their address is 609 High Street in Kansas. So we're three minutes and 20 seconds in and we've already seen that the address is wrong, the FFL is wrong. So this is a scam. This is, we're three minutes, 20 seconds in. Let's continue looking to see why we think it's a scam, but this is a scam. If you go to the privacy policy, I noticed, you know, a lot of companies have these now. It says reloading supplies here. It reads pretty well. And when you get down to the this paragraph right here, it actually says Vance Outdoors. And that's not the site we're looking at. So this is the second instance where it looks like they've used or stolen copy from another page, from another site. And a lot of times I like to just take a sentence and copy it. And you can go back to Google and put some quotes, paste your sentence, and see where on the internet that is. There's only one page on the internet where that's at, and it's vanceoutdoors.com. And here's their privacy policy, and here's the sentence that we were looking at. So they've stolen this information, and then they changed it right up here with their name. So the privacy policy is stolen. Okay, so yeah, it's this is a scam site. And usually the, the kiss of death is just find something you want to buy and put it in your cart and see what happens. So large rifle are very common. These are primers. <coughs> and I don't I don't know anything about reloading. I don't do it myself. I usually just buy full ammo. So I don't know all the details, but 
This is um, large rifle magnum primers. We'll add to cart. And we'll go to checkout. And it says your current order is $105. You must have a minimum of $200 to place your order. Okay, so we'll, we'll make it four of those instead of just one. Because this, this might be a good price and maybe you haven't seen these in a while, so maybe you want to buy more. So is this a scam or is this not a scam? It's a scam. So it says Venmo, Zelle, Cash App, PayPal, Bitcoin. They don't want credit cards. They don't want cash. They don't want checks. They don't want money orders. They don't want you to visit them in Kansas and try to buy this because they're not there. They're somewhere else in the world trying to scam you. Um, if you pay with Venmo, it gives you all these big old ins instructions on how to do it and please kindly get in touch with us in our live chat or email sales for our Venmo details. Uh, a lot of times people that are not native English speaker, they're kind of overly courteous and they'll, they'll call you sir and they'll say kindly, do you mind? And they'll be very generous and this is all a scam. And it says kindly down here also. Um, not a native English speaker and what they want is after making a payment, take a screenshot and send it to our semicolon live chat or email. So that the grammar's wrong. And the reason they want a screenshot is because they don't have this account themselves. They're sharing it with other people and they're probably giving that person a cut, like 20%, and then they take 80 and then they just steal it and they don't send you anything. Um, you know, if someone normally paid, paid you, like PayPal or Venmo or something, you would just log in and check and see if you actually got paid. If you take a screenshot, I mean, it could be faked, it could be Photoshop, it could be off the internet, you know, who knows what it could be. Um, so it's very strange that they ask for screenshots and, and all these instructions are the same ridiculous thing where they want a picture or a screenshot. None of these payment processors are really supposed to be used for e-commerce. They're for friends or family. You can't get refunds. PayPal, friends and family, no refunds. Firearm transactions are against their terms and policies. They don't, they don't, they'd prefer not to do that. Bitcoin, um, you can't even find out who this person is. The, the wallet address is here, but it's anonymous. Uh, you could do some research on it if you feel like it and see, who, you know, who they are. Well, not who they are, but how much they've been Bitcoins in the past. So, so this is a scam. And also there's no, um, they're saying they're giving a Bitcoin, a Bitcoin discount. So they're trying to create urgency because they really prefer Bitcoin because you can't reverse it and you can't track it. Once it's done, it's gone. Their shipping rate is a flat $25. There's no hazmat fee, which any, I think primers would have a hazmat fee. I'm not sure. You can comment below, depending on if I'm right or wrong. And you can also tell that their, their card is not real time because I've got four of these now, but what if I want 400? That's, what is that? F four million? It's a lot. A lot of, of primers. It's $32,000, they say they have it. So what if I add some more zeros? What is that, $32 million? Proceed to checkout. There's no warnings. Shipping is now free, that's nice. Um, it's imaginary, but I guess it's an imaginary truck with imaginary primers. So this is a scam. And you can go and see what other places on the internet have thought of this. Better Business Bureau is giving it an F rating. It's the same domain here, the same address. There was a complaint, but you can't read it. I'm not sure why it's been taken off. Um, and if, you ever, if you're ever curious about a, a company, you can copy their domain and go to a, a who is lookup and see who they are really, and just see how old this is. And this site is only six months old. So it was made in 2021 in October. 
and there's privacy on, so you can't really tell who it's registered. You can't see their email address. Um, and the, this, there's another site that's talking about this, Northwest Firearms. They have a forum, and they say, almost got scammed today. Everything looked right, very well done. And then they, they say, you know, how they want payment. So if they, if they don't accept credit cards, it's definitely a scam. If they accept credit cards, it might be a scam. So buyer beware. Um, and I've seen some of these scam sites that take credit cards or they take your number and record it. And I don't know what they do with it if they sell it to other people, but then they'll call you and say it failed. Do you mind paying Venmo? Do you mind paying Zelle? Um, and it's my personal assistant's um, Venmo, so it's her name, or it's my secretary, so or it's my accountant. So here's his name, and it's his Venmo. Say, so can you pay him? And um, the reason this site has traffic and that it's it's getting uh, you to their site. Um, I I work in internet commerce and SEO and paid search. And there's a tool called scmrush.com that you can get information on other people's domains or your own if you if you're just looking to get information on your own domain. And um, I, I ran a report on this domain. So here's the domain reloading, reloading supplies. It's a domain overview. It has 510 searches a month. And the reason it does is it has 2.8 million backlinks in six months. So that's several hundred thousand a month. Not very organic, seems fake. Seems like they're either buying links or tricking links or some other something else worse uh, but I haven't I haven't researched this one in depth so I won't say anything else here's their traffic and it was very small and then in February it was very small and then in March it took off last month was April it took off and this month is about the same and they rank for 1483 keywords and here's some of the keywords that they rank for, CCI primers in stock. And that was the one that we were looking at. So I'll go back to Google and I'll just uh, type CCI prime, primers in stock and see who ranks for that. And a lot of times these sites will try to rank for long tail keywords that are a little bit longer than standard like this keyword and here let's see we're looking for reloadingsupplies.com wow okay so well, let's go back to SEM rush cci oh 250 i didn't i don't think i put 250 in so uh and here at Frockstone Ammo, Discount Ammunition, Alfex. A lot of these are fake. <laughs> They're scam sites. And here's the fourth one, which is the scam site that we're looking at currently. And don't, I, I would suggest not look typing in long tail keywords and trusting anything you see, even on the first page. Brownells is real. I don't, I don't reload, I think this might be real. Um, you, you probably should ask a friend that reloads where they get their stuff from or a local gun store that has it. If you're looking for the real site of, of anything, you should probably do a very short search like CCI primers and see what you get. And is this it? I don't know. So how can we tell? Well, it looks pretty official. This is a nice looking site. And it's saying it's, it's, it's giving you the locations of other people. They're not trying to sell you something. And I don't even know if there's an add to cart. Yeah, see, there's no add to cart. They're not asking for Venmo or Zelle or anything. They're saying, find an ammo store near you. And when you go to that, you can type in your zip code and say, find a store. And it will give you some ideas of where you can get this item. Well, it's a little, a little slow. There it goes. 
and Culver City, Burbank, and some of these places have websites, they have phone numbers, you can call them, Turners I've heard of. And so if you're not even, if you don't trust that this domain is real, you could take it and copy it and go back to the who is and paste it there and see how old this domain is. So the fake scam site is only six months old. How old is this one? Oh, this one is 22 years old. So this is a real site and they have no privacy on and they say they're in Idaho. And here, if you know this company, maybe you know this is their parent company, Blunt, I don't know. And um, if you look in their address, their contact, maybe they say they're in Idaho. Um, I don't know. Um, and they have a lot more information. They, maybe they say right here, blah, 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 full history. Oh, they're part of Vista. So t to recap, they have 2.8 million backlinks. That is why uh, ReloadingSupplies.com ranks for as many keywords as it does. It's a fake site. If you bought anything there, I, I'm sorry. I don't know how to get any of your money back. You might complain to the payment processor, but I don't know if they'll give it back to you. You really shouldn't be paying for firearms transactions with those uh, payment processors. And I hope you have better luck online shopping in the future. Thank you. Bye.